My name is Victor King, Private Eye. I'm the best detective in Jersey. But here I am in my crappy office in the sticks, just begging for a case. So, when a cocky brunette walked in with one, you'd think I'd be happy. Not this time. And especially not this one. Get out! Is that really the way to treat an old friend, Victor? We're not friends, June. Or should I call you misdirection? Either is fine by me. Why are you here? I'm here because of my sister. Lila? Yes, she's... she's been kidnapped. Ah, enough of that. What happened? It was last night. She was supposed to meet me in front of the spike after she was done working. Jones Diner. She's too smart to be mixed up in mob business like that. She just started working there. I was waiting for her when I... I heard a noise. I couldn't get there in time to save her. Nothing else? No plate? No, it was too dark. I, I couldn't even see their faces. Why wouldn't you go straight to the police with this? Come now, you know they'll arrest her. They can't touch Spike Jones if they can snatch his employees. Please, she's the only family I have. You're the only one who can save her. Thank you, Victor, I'll, I'll come along No, you and... won't. I don't need help from the likes of you. I'm going to find your sister, then collect my thousand clams and never hear from you again. I decided to start with the only lead I had. The mob front, known as Spike Diner. Subtle ball, bro, which is hard with all that yelling you do. Listen, I need the lowdown on this place. No, I could be fired for me talking to you. Is it about Lila? Yes. Lila was kidnapped, and I'm trying to find the goons who did it. You see anything suspicious around here lately? I can't help you. I don't need help. I need answers. Please. I gotta find her. I... I take it you two have some history? Something like that. Well... The girls have been saying things. It's just a rumor, mind you, but... They've been saying that Mr. Jones is in cahoots with some big shot from New York. And that something's going down between them. I thought his favorite employees were the silent kind. Oh, they are, but he's been off the past few days. Sticking near the waterfront, or so also room has it. So what's this got to do with Lila? Lila was the one who got the rumor started. So maybe she's got herself mixed up in something she shouldn't have. Thank you, Barbara. What are you doing here, Barbara? I, I was just trying to listen here, pal. Barbara's my girl. So you can take your ugly... Go get us a couple of bottles of the sauce, sweetheart. Say now, I know you from somewhere, don't I? I don't recognize you. Listen, I really don't got time to... Ah, I got it! You're Victor King. The P.I. who busted the grindstone operation. Yeah, that was me. What about it? What about it? Everyone from here to New York has heard about it. It was a get in and out quick, flawless job. The whole drug ring came tumbling down like a swigger on a staircase. It wasn't all that. Well, now I'd agree with you. If it wasn't for the fact that you put half my family in the clink. 
put me out of the job. So, boys, why don't we uh, show Mr. King here the same kind of hospitality that he showed my family? <laughs> You like that? I'll make sure it's double. If I ever see your rotten face here again. Things weren't looking too good for me. I could barely breathe and had no solid leads to finding Lila. I couldn't bear the thought of losing her. So it was lucky Harry showed up when he did. Vector? Are you? Hi, Harry. So, uh, who did this to you? Johnny Charles and his two goons. I should have recognized the family resemblance. Will it kill you to bring some backup? Wherever you're off to next? I have it handled. Well, here. Let me help you out. I'm fine. You know, Victor, still doing this lone wolf thing. Even when you're sitting in this trashy alley to get in the works. Admit it, Victor. You need help. You got lucky, you know. I remember Johnny and his goons from my time at the docks. They ain't ones to forget a grudge. So, why are you here anyway? I'm trying to find Lila Stone. You know her? Yeah. I think I've seen her around once or twice. What happened to her? Kidnapped. And from the sound of it, her boss may have been the one to do it. Spike Jones? Yeah. He smells worse than rotten fish. Wait, fish? Yeah, you know, ones that uh, swim in the ocean. I, I know what fish are. You were saying you knew them from the docks. Yeah, Larry and Paul. Nasty pieces of work if I ever saw them. The docks. Harry, I need your help. The info Barbara gave me with what Harry told me led me straight to my target. Now all I needed to do was get near him. Well, this should all be here. Biggest fixed shipment ever to be smuggled to New York. It's a pleasure doing business with you, Spike. I look forward to working with you again, real soon. Same here. Now if you'll excuse me, I got some business to attend to. Of course. Missy, it's time to tell me what you know. I don't know nothing, honest. Stop lying to me, you dumb broad. Tell me this, how did you know I was doing a deal with Alistair Harold? Huh? I, I heard you talking with, with Johnny Charles Wolf's servant. I, I didn't mean any harm right or nothing. You couldn't I... keep your mouth shut? Do you have any idea what some of the buzzers and benders in this town would do for this big of a load? I got the coppers breathing down my neck. Could be worse, though. They could have gotten me. Now, 
let it go, or I'll blow your boss's brains out of his skull. What are you crazy? Let it go already. Now, you two yucks are gonna stay put long enough for me and Lila to get the hell out of here, or I'm gonna give you both the works. Get it? Victor, how did you find? We'll talk about it later, sweetheart. Right now, we need to get you out of here and back home to your sister. June. Well done, Mr. King. Well done. What? What's going on? Ain't it obvious? She sold us out. To a boss. Why would you do that? To your own sister? Stop taking things so personally. This isn't even about you. Jun Hyun knew all about your... Uh, connection. She says, you get the girl, the great Victor King comes running like a lost puppy. Simple. With you out of the way, no one will even know we were up to all this. One move and say goodbye to your little dame here. All right, all right. Want to pipe in, Harry? <laughs> you all right? Are you all right? Thank you. <laughs> Take that, you low-down, dirty spawn of a one-eyed snake monkey. Thanks for not staying put, pal. We almost went belly up. Ah, don't flip your wing. I had to call your friend at the cop shop, remember? Victor King, calling for help. Jezza had to call for a little backup every now and then. And there's the boys in blue. Think I'll hit the road before they show up, eh? All right, Harry, we'll see you on the streets. I should leave too. Wait. Can I walk you home? Now this is all over, what's next for you? A drink. <laughs> well, I know of a diner just down the way that I used to work at. 